Hello guys and welcome to a new brand video. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use UI kits on Figma. So now the first thing that you will need to do is to open your web browser and then you will need just to go to search bar. So you can use any web browser, either it was Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, Mozilla Firefox or any web browser will do the work. After that, we need just to search for Figma and then we will find the first link that is the www.figma.com you click on it and basically you will need just to log in or create an account and basically here i'm already logged in you can just create an account by clicking on get started for free or you can just go and log in if you had already your account so basically i'm just going to log in my account now and after that we will need to create a new design here so basically you can just go and create new design file. You click on it and basically it will take you to your working space. And now all it remains to do is to follow these simple steps. So now all we need to do is to go back to the files and then go to a community so we can find our UI kits. So basically you can just go here to the community and explore for the Figma products and go for the free one if you want to search for some UI kits. And here we can uh, search for for example let's choose this ui kits here and then we are going to open on figma and basically you can start using all the kits from this uh, application or uh, this ui kits by uh, using the assets of this uh, here as you can see they will become more visual here you will find them more on your libraries so after uh saving these uis kits you can use them here in your projects for example uh in figma so let's go back for example to this project and then we need just to search for these assets and we need just to add them to our libraries so we can start use using these uh, icons for example and start using them in our uh projects so uh, UI kits are basically just a group of icons or group of kits or elements that you can use on your project without uh, having to create them from the zero or from the beginning. And basically, you can add them to your project, you can copy and uh, paste them, or you can just add them to your files so you can find them on your libraries, etc. So, basically, this is how you can do it. Thank you for watching and see you next time.